over here. This is the dollar yen, but before we get into the dollar yen, I actually do want to go over some of these charts. So this is the first chart I wanted to show you guys today. This is US CPI year over year in orange from 2013 to 2023. So basically the last 10 years. This blue line is CPI year over year from 1966 to 82. And the reason why I want to look at this is because it talks a little bit about what we could see in the future. If we are replicating the inflation from the 70s and 80s, then this could be our future. And what we see here is that both lines track each other. So the 19, uh, 19, uh, 2013, over the last 10 years in orange, tracks almost identically the 1966 trend line here, which is the CPI for those years in basically the 66 to 76 area. Now, what's interesting here is look at the pop, look at the drop, and then look at where we see inflation continuing into the late 70s into the 80s before it collapses down into 82. And the reason why I bring this to your attention is because everyone is so 100% sure that inflation is going back in this box. You know, even with CPI data recently upticking a little bit, we saw PPI data upticking a little bit. Everyone is still saying, hey, listen, uh, we're convinced it's going to go back to 2%. The Fed will be able to cut rates very easily next year. There's going to be nothing, no issues whatsoever. If this tracks, and again, you can't deny the relative nature of both trend lines tracking, then what we're going to see is we're going to see inflation come down a little bit more and then start to pop again. And what's fascinating about this is this could tell us the future of the stock market and the economy. Think about this. Imagine if we see the economy stutter late this year into next year. Inflation's at around 25 to 3%, which is, would be right down in this area relative to where we, we are now. Now, the economy starts to struggle. Unemployment starts to go up. What happens if the Fed has to lower interest rates when we're at 25 to 3% on the inflation rate, right, or the CPI rate. Imagine what that triggers. Could it trigger this next wave to the upside in inflation that takes us even above the previous pivot high? So the previous pivot high for us, we know, was around 9%. What we're curious here is, does something in the economy, does a black swan event, does the economy just start to stall out because of the lag in interest rate policies that then causes this to jack up before eventually it comes crashing down. 